Welcome. This is item number four from the recently released spring 2014 test items for the seventh grade TCAP now in Tennessee. And it's just the math. Uh, anyway, a salad recipe requires three cups of spinach and one half cup of pecans. At this rate, what amount of pecans should be used with two cups of spinach? Now, as just a personal, you know, moment here. I will say that at one point in my career I spent a lot of time teaching proportions. It was just a big part of what I did and the role that I was teaching at the time. That's gone away. Um, I don't teach proportions nearly as much, but I did come up with sort of an analysis of a question to see if it's probably a proportion and it's referred to as the 2 3 fourth. If a question is a 2 3 fourth question it's always a proportion. What's a proportion? A proportion is where you set two ratios equal to each other, or fractions, long story short. Let's get out of math talk for, let's get into a different type of math talk for a second. If I have 3 over 6 and 1 half, I'll put a 1 half in front, it'll be easier to see. I know that 1 times 3 gives you 3, and 2 times 3 gives you 6. But what you could also do, instead of doing all this thinking across, which is totally fine by the way, that's actually probably a really good number sense skill. Um, what you can also do is cross products, which is to say multiply the numerator of one by the denominator and set it equal to the same in the other, like vice versa kind of. So one times six is six, two times three is six. If they're the same, you know that they're equivalent and the equal works. We can use that to find one of our terms. Now, what's second, third, f two, three, fourth mean? Two means there's two concepts in the question, or two ideas, or two items, whatever you want to say. In this case, our items are spinach, cons. So it's a, the two is met. Three would be numbers. Sometimes it's tricky because people who make test questions just love to start a sentence with a number and they always write it out, so be careful. But it, this one's easier, th you know, thank goodness. There's a number, there's a number, there's a number. Two concepts, three numbers, we're looking good. Uh, the last part is fourth, which is I'm looking for... the fourth number. So two, three, fourth, this is a proportion all day till Sunday. Now, what do I do in a proportion? I like to think of, uh, the first one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a generic, uh, set up a ratio to represent what's already going on in the uh, original problem. So it talks about a recipe. So let's do the recipe ratio for this recipe. Uh, three cups of spinach. And here's the deal. It's really easy to just dive into you know, cross, multiply, and divide, and you don't organize them in the right way, so you just kind of clickety-click in the old calculator and you get the wrong answer, and even though you know how to do it, it makes you look like kind of a joke. So take the time to write things down. You know, you have to wait once the test is over anyway, so you might as well just go ahead and take your time and do well on it. That way you can, you know, punish people for making a question that has a fraction, and then you have to use fractions to do it. It's not very nice. Anyway, and then half cup of pecans would go on the bottom. That's what the recipe says. So I'm going to make one ratio for the recipe. Now, I'm not going to put a half down here just because I hate fractions and fractions, so I'm going to change it to a decimal. You don't have to do that. Whatever. Choose your own adventure. I'm not your life coach. So for the other side of it, I need to make a ratio for the theoretical situation, or really in the real world. We don't live in a recipe-mounted uh, universe, so uh, I'll just say IRL in real life. So the in real life version is I only have two cups of spinach that I need. And the nice thing is the placement works out here. Here's how you know where to put this number on the in the numerator or denominator. It's kind of like if you own some sort of pet hotel where the pets would stay. Um, if you have cats and dogs, if you put cats and dogs and mix them together, they will fight. And it is not fair to either the cats or dogs uh, because someone will either you know, destroy one or they'll be totally embarrassed. So don't do it. So in keep all of your cats on top, on the top floor, it's two stories, or put all your cats down here. Just don't mix cats and dogs. So if I have spinach on top, spinach needs to be on top. That's it. Cats and dogs, people. So for the bottom, I'm looking for, I don't know, some amount of pecans. Using what we said before, I'm going to do cross products here. So 3 times x is 3x. 0.5 or 1 half times 2 will just give you 1. So I just need to solve it. Write this step out because it's really easy to just type it all in and not know what you're doing. 
uh, or know what you're doing but not type it in properly and then you just do x equals one-third so one-third of a cup uh, you could type all that in the calculator however you want if you wanted to do like say we're using something like this if you wanted to do two oops two times one-half you wouldn't have to worry about changing it to point 0.5. It's just a visual thing for me anyway. Don't fall into my nonsense. Oops, the thing went away. Hey, when I make a dot somewhere because it always comes back to haunt me. There we go. And you get one, so you put one X there. Or, sorry, you put one right here, just like I did. And that's it. So my suggestion to you is if you see a 2 3 fourth situation, keep your eyes peeled. The state loves to put them on the test. And uh, the big deal is setting it up this way and writing this step out will make sure that you are l very significantly less likely to miss the question and you people taking this test are just too smart to miss this question once you know what the numbers are supposed to do so write this step out do yourself a favor then solve it and then you know kinda work it out but typing it all in the you know box of magic over here doesn't always get you the results that you want so just take a few seconds to write it out you'll get it correct and you know it's almost like you're punishing the people who make the test for making you have to take it so you know get your revenge that way that's it